Can Utah keep their win streak alive? Number 18, Utah at Oregon. Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist, is all dressed for the game. He's ready to go. Dennis, is that allowed, that gear? It's allowed in my office since uh, <laughs> I collect visors, and this just happened to be uh, on the shelf today. Anything goes. I understand, Dennis. The longest win streak in the nation, almost in jeopardy. Utah, though, getting their sixth street, 16th straight victory. Now the Ducks have their hands full. Another ranked opponent from a mid-major conference, Dennis. Yeah, it's going to be tough. And Oregon's, boy, right out of the gate. Uh, Boise State and Purdue, two major major opponents to start with. They've shown a susceptibility to the run, really weak against the run. Last week, Purdue's Ralph Bolden at 123 yards rushing, 52 yards catching the ball on a touchdown. Uh, so the defense has not been as well. Everyone talked about how the offense would be after uh, LeGarrette Blunt. But, you know, scoring 38 points for Purdue it was pretty good. I think it's defensively where they don't match up right now. After the week one disaster and suspension, the Ducks bounce back, Dennis, by almost over 200 yards on the ground. Can they do that again? Well, yeah, I, I think you got to look at a guy like Michael James who replaced with Garrett Blunt. Uh, they've got some young depth behind him. I think they're going to be okay. The thing I don't like is I, I, I was just scanning this NCAA statistics this week. Jeremiah Masoli, number 100 in pass efficiency among quarterbacks, and they only rank 100. That's got to get better. I, I thought he was a lot better. He's a guy that moves with his feet or moves well with his feet. Uh, but it's a much better passer than that. We'll see this week. Let's talk about Utah, Dennis, for just a minute. Put up 59 points, over 1,000 yards in offense through the first two games. Does that continue? How does Terrence Kane look to you so far? Well, very good. And this is a guy they liked from the beginning uh, you know, to replace uh, their guy last year. He's done everything. He, he creates plays with his feet. He can throw. Uh, he's taller. He sees the field very well. I think the big thing that's going to hurt Utah this week is their best running back, Matt Asiata, is questionable with the shoulder. Now, if they don't have him, I think they're in big trouble against the Oregon defense. Dennis, before I let you go, the Ducks finished seventh nationally in scoring and yardage last season. This year, they're only averaging 254 yards per game. How does that get better? Does it get significantly better throughout the season? Well, it. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Um, they're not going to be a top 10 offense like they were last year. You know, Chip Kelly, as coordinator, had this team in the top six in rushing each of the last two years. That's what people don't know, uh, you know a lot. They, they were a power running team most of the time the last two years. That's not going to happen with the loss of Blunt. Uh, they have to, you know, actually be more balanced this year. But they're not. They may be a top 20. They're not going to be a top 10. 3.30 Saturday, Utah, Oregon. Thanks so much for watching the preview brought to you by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. We'll see you soon.